March 9th, 1998. Well, today was a Monday. A yucky Monday with a yucky three-hour play rehearsal and tons of homework. But what do you expect three days before report cards? I really, really, really hope I get straight A's, especially in English and reading. If I don't get an A in English, well, let's just say that putting a gun to my head would be less painful. Plus, that I won't get as much grade money for mom and dad. Anyway, if I don't get A's now, I probably won't get A's later, and then I can't do the stuff I want to do, like be the president or something. Don't laugh. Also, do you know what else? Alex Johnson got a haircut, and now he looks ugly. Maybe that sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually really good, because now I won't stare at him all the time in orchestra anymore. I told you I'd get over him. I want greatness, but I want to have a single unique thought. Single unique thought that's acknowledged. Um, besides that, I want to live vividly. Those are the only two things that I really care about. Uh, Not like a you're a simplified version of the feudal system, no doubt, but we still have this idea of, okay, my father's a cobbler, I'm going to be a cobbler. You know, I'm a female, my, my mother's a female, <laughs> I'm going to be a housewife. You know, there were little other options, right? Unless you were royalty, or you had some other strange situation, rare, rare situation that you were born into. And, you know, when you're young, you think, oh, how horrible. Because the world's open to you, right? But especially in the, in the postmodern period, in this really profoundly fucked up time that we're living in, I don't think I'm alone in and having a problem of like a like a problem of paralysis with all the choices that I face and that sounds so stupid because oh poor me I have too many choices you have too many choices what the fuck are you do? no but on the other hand I mean I, I think there is some comfort in saying oh my father's a cobbler I'll be a cobbler it's just the way things are so and, you know, I can't put myself back in, in a feudal position and know what it's like to, to be limited to a, a very select few but known options versus having unknown, untold, infinite number of options but not knowing where my life is going to go. October 18th, 2001. Today was actually really good. It was about time. Life has been pretty shitty lately. I always feel better when I think about the future, though. I mean, how awesome can the present be? I'm 15, right? And I always think about the future when I'm with Beth. Obviously, I should just spend all my time with her and all my problems would be over. Ha. Oh, well, only another year and a half and then I'll be out of the Midwest and if all goes well, pretty soon we'll be in London and she'll be a famous actress and I'll be the screenwriter and everything will be awesome. April 17th, 2002. Lots to say, not much time. Um, on Friday, I BS'd a quiz in World Lit. Mom and Dad have been giving me all sorts of shit about figuring out my life and applying to college. The usual. After school, Dad and I took off for Lawrence University for a campus visit. It was pretty cool. Definitely on my plan B list. Top of the page. Come the fuck on! Still, Beth and I want plan A so you are bad. You better be loaded when I get back. I'm sure it'll happen, but one always needs a backup plan. P.S. I'm going to be famous. P.P.S. So is Beth. P.P.P.S. And I'm so gonna marry Elijah Wood. Okay, I'm done now, I promise. June 6, 2003. So I've graduated high school. That's weird. We were sick. My name is Vince. I'm 23 years old. Kate Flitty, 24. I'm Chris Landis, and I'm 26. I'm Claire Spora. I'm 24. I'm 24. I'm almost 24. I wanted to write books, and I wanted to teach. I wanted to be an economist. I wanted to do economy stuff all the time. A rock star. I kind of wanted to be like a scientist in a lab, working for somebody, seeing sciencey things. 
That oh, was constantly morphing for me. I started off wanting to be a psychologist until I was about 12. And then I wanted to be a concert violinist. And then I wanted to be a photographer. And then I wanted to be a writer. And then I just wanted to be famous. And then I wanted to be a teacher. And I just wanted to be a photographer. It morphs. It's good time. Right now, I'm a lone operations support and processing representative one. What am I doing right now? I am uh, working as a sales associate at the University Bookstore's clothing gift department. I work at a, a, a call center where I reserve campsites over the phone. I'm unemployed. Uh, I'm a barista. I make lattes. Right now, I'm working in a cute farm. It's not great. It's, it's, not, I don't know, it's less than stellar. It's a job. I've got a while before I feel like I need to have a career that I'm going to have for life. I make enough money that I can have fun. I don't particularly love my job, but it's a job. You know, making money, all those fun stuff. July 23rd, 2003. Well, alright. This is what it feels like to be 18 and 23 days. It's awful, and I hate it. I ought to know by now that life isn't sunshine and puppies, but the summer really is shit. Whenever I talk to Beth or Sonia, they can't stop yammering about how excited they are to go to college. Which is great, you know, I'm really fucking happy for them. But you think they might stop for two seconds and think, ranting on and on about the wonderfulness of New York and how I'm so fucking excited to go there and practically bursting might not be the most wonderful nice thing to say in front of me, the one who wanted to go but isn't, the one left behind. God, fuck this. I'm not saying that the attorney's office has filed the first legal on that yet, but I can follow up with that and let you know. Uh, sure, what's your phone number? October 14th, 2003. Well, well, well. Here I am at Lawrence, and I haven't written a single thing yet. Perhaps I should start at the beginning, if I can remember. Okay, so the first couple of weeks were sort of getting our footing and figuring out what we wanted to do for the rest of the year. Kate and I went to this feminist bonfire thing, and we were told about this crazy group of people called the UIs, and it all went downhill from there. Ha. No, I don't want to be a fan of Chandler Bing. What does that mean? He's a fucking fictional character. You know, the weird thing, though, is that it really doesn't sketch me out. It's like, this is what I was waiting to be. I just needed an opportunity to let it out, to have interesting experiences. And, of course, I already managed to develop a crush on a totally unattainable, well, unavailable, anyway, boy. But, yeah, I like these people a lot. They're really brilliant and amazing and, I don't know, familial. On top of being cool and sketchy. Good times. I currently feel ambivalent just because I graduated in June, so I'm like, yeah, I have a BA. Shit, I have a BA. I have a BA in the worst time to actually graduate from college since the Great Depression. It really doesn't mean anything, especially since I moved to a college town. So, yes and no. I did a lot of stuff, I learned a lot of stuff. Did it really prepare me to, like, get a career in the real world? Probably not. Yes and no. I mean, career path-wise, no. It prepared me to have an academic career, and if I didn't want it, since I don't want an academic career, it might not have been the right, wasn't the right education for me, but it was still awesome and I learned a lot. Maybe that's kind of how college is now. College is the new high school. We've been told, you know, you, people with just a high school degree just don't aren't succeeding in the way that they were, I'm, I really don't mean to offend anyone who only has a high school degree. Um, but you know, it's like what high school used to be, college is now, in terms of, you know, the wage that you get and what happens in your life. I guess I'm glad I went. Um, it's kind of what's expected of you. Um, or it was expected of me. Now that I'm outside of it, it's like I'm, I've learned a lot of life lessons the hard way. And I feel like college could have sped up the process a little more. I feel like I was kept immature.